Experts are calling it an unprecedented case with an unexpected sentence to match. A Sydney bartender who spent years digitally altering and sharing pictures of women he knew on a pornography website has been sentenced to nine years in prison. It's a landmark moment for victims in the digital age who say they're relieved to see justice done. For two years, Andrew Haler uploaded pictures of women he knew, superimposing their faces onto pornographic images, alongside detailed rape fantasies and identifying details. He posted my name and um, my Instagram handles and the suburb I lived in. And it just makes me feel sick to think about the number of people who know those personal details. Now the 38-year-old bartender has been sentenced to nine years in prison. And there hasn't really been anything like it and I think that it was really important that uh, this case sets an example for future offenders. It feels like I've lost at least two years of my life to dealing with it um, and two years of my relationships with my friends that were involved um, and with my partner um, and, and also coming to terms with him being such a good friend of mine and having to reassess my friendships. Judge Jane Culver said general deterrence formed a crucial part of the sentence. It's clear that the impact on the victims is profound. The common theme from the victims is that they have all lost a sense of security, a sense of privacy. Most of all, they've lost a sense of themselves and their former lives. It's 2024, like the internet is part of everyday life. There's no disconnect between what happens on the internet and what happens in the real world. None of the victims I spoke to had been expecting a sentence of more than a couple of years. So as the judge said, five and a half years without parole, an audible gasp went up across the courtroom. A relief and a sense of closure for his 26 victims, but it's come at a huge cost. The sentence may have been handed down, but we're going to have to live with um, what has been done to us for the rest of our lives. Last week, Hayla apologised to the victims in court. He'll be eligible for parole in 2029. Ruby Cornish, ABC News, Sydney.